Hey, Needlebender757 here in Boulder, Colorado with another 757 Boulder Built Amplifier video. This one here, uh, I'm just finishing up. Uh, it's a three tube GI7B, uh, Russian tubes. Had fun building this thing, and it's just, uh, to me, it's all about using the very best quality in parts. So uh, let's talk about uh, some parts here for a minute. Let's look inside here. First off, I mentioned the Russian tubes. Nice uh, ceramic steel Russian tubes. Broadcast quality, you know, meant for uh, broadcast use. I mean, just, uh, they're just as durable as you're going to get out there. Uh, comes to uh, parts here, we've got a nice uh, American vacuum, or I mean American uh, blocker there. It's a 15 kV blocker. Instead of air variables in there, we've got comet vacuum variables. Uh, an air variable for this, each one costs, you know, about 125 bucks. Uh, new comets are about 500 or more a piece. So uh, there you have it. That's a little difference in cost right there. There's, you know, a thousand bucks in uh, vacuum variables right there. And they're overkill. This one here is uh, rated at uh, 9 to 15 kV. This thing runs on 3,000. You usually want to double it, so you'd want like a 6 kV uh, vacuum variable there. This one's 9 to 15. Overkill, you know, and yeah, just just the best of the best parts we put in these. Uh, speaking of that, let's look over here. Uh, Universal Transformer Company, made in America, down in Texas. Great people. I love dealing with them. They make a great product, man. So you got your brand new transformer in there, and it's definitely overkill oversized I mean it barely fits in the box parts look at these nice uh, look at the nice diode board here the rectifier board that uh, that was designed by uh, needlebender 785 Tony for these boxes he built one uh, similar to this himself along with the uh, capacitor bank board there so uh, that's really nice and uh, our bias control it's not uh, a diode bias control, it's a more modern variable, also uh, uh, configured and uh, designed by uh, Needlebender 785, and I populated that and threw that in there, and got it working good. Uh, so, a lot of fun with this box, it takes a little bit of a startup time, so I'm going to kick this on, and uh, it's about a 60 second timer until you can light the... Uh, the high voltage up on it it's warming up the filament right now and this is our high voltage button if I have it pushed in and I have this this is our standby operate switch if I have this up and this switch pushed in it'll do everything automatic and you'll be ready to transmit but we'll put it in standby and we'll let the high voltage not engage yet until we decide we want it engaged uh, just uh, some features we put in this uh, box here Inside the bottom of the box, we've got uh, big, heavy-duty Allen Bradley contactors that uh, you know take care of all the uh, the switching in there. Not uh, cheap relays, big Allen Bradley 50-amp uh, uh, contactors. Just uh, you know, nice metering up front, uh, grid and plate current, and your voltage. All boxes should have those. Oh, our blue light came on. That means we can start our uh, high voltage soft start. And if we push that, that starts our high voltage soft start. Starts going up. And when it comes on, it'll go all the way up, boom, and your other light will come on down here. Letting you know that you can transmit if you want. But we've got a red light here which says you can't transmit because that's our operate standby switch. Goes to green when you're ready to go. So we're going to put it back in standby. And uh, we're going to use our striker here. Audio, 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 audio. Doing 100 watts. And we're going to, uh, oh, we're dead keying about 8 watts. So it's an 8 watt dead key and 100 watt swing. Oh, I guess it helps if you put the operate standby switch and operate. With an 8 watt dead key, and a 100 watt swing, you get audio, audio. Let's uh, check our bias adjustment here. 
You want about 300 mils? There's our 300 mils. You don't want any signal going in when you measure that. So our bias adjustment's good. Audio, audio, test. One, two, one, two. Audio. So we're doing about 2150. Uh, if I do a little bit more tuning, it'll squeeze a little bit more out with that 100 watts in, but I'm just messing around right now. We're not done playing and tuning. Uh, I've seen as much as 2,500 out of it, but this thing's really designed to run right around 2,000 watts and last a lifetime. You know, you just got to, depending on how much you talk, you know, maybe change. If you talk as much as I do, maybe change those tubes out once every five or so years. But uh, great working, great operational box. I'm going to do another video on this later on in the week showing uh, waveform and uh, intermodulation distortion and uh, a little bit more technical uh, information on the amplifier. But I just wanted to get you up to speed on what's been going on up here in Boulder, Colorado. Needlebender 757 here in Boulder. Hope you enjoyed the video. We're going to get back on the sides smoking. See ya.